Hello my beautiful friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Liv if you're new here and as you can probably tell this is another cozy holiday vlog. <music> loved my other holiday vlog with Kendall so I'm very happy to say this is going to be another vlog with Kendall because we are hosting our very own readathon called the Holly Jolly Readathon. We both have a Patreon and we thought why not combine for the month of December and do a Patreon exclusive readathon together. We can do sprints together, games together, we are doing a gingerbread house decorating contest and we are going to pick a winner for that so I think that's what I'm most excited excited about. Not only is today Friday, but today marks the official day of my Christmas vacation, which I am so excited for. I actually don't go back to work until January 2nd. I am very blessed with working for a Christian company that allows us just a full rest time where we have like two and a half weeks off of work and I cannot wait. I definitely have some filming plans, but I'm also going to be relaxing. But what better way to kick off your break with a readathon, obviously. I'm also wearing my cozy Christmas PJs because honestly why not when you're on vacation you stay in your pajamas all day long so that's what we're doing the first day but I wanted to go ahead and share with you the details of this readathon we have four basic prompts we also have a movie night where we're watching Candy Cane Lane we're also doing a gingerbread house decorating contest and the winner is actually gonna receive some Christmas goodies but as far as the reading prompts we just wanted to make it very easy very simple very easy to combine prompts if anybody wanted to. I am going to be reading a separate book for each prompt because I am who I am. But these are all books that I am very, very, very excited about. For our first prompt, we have just a book that has red or green on the cover. Obviously, red and green, Christmas colors. And I've been wanting to read Winter House for years. I think I've had this book since like 2019. I've heard great phenomenal things about this book. Our main character is an orphan and she lives with her aunt and uncle, but they send her to like this magic magical hotel called Winter House and there ends up being a mystery with a magical library and some very interesting shady characters. It's been a very very long time since I've read a middle grade book so I'm super excited about this one. The next book I'm going to be reading is Snowed In by Katherine Walsh and for this prompt we just wanted you guys to choose like any type of romance. It could be a holiday romance, fantasy romance, just read something romantic for this one. I'm not gonna lie I'm actually almost halfway through this one so yeah I'm gonna be cheating a little bit during this readathon but one thing about me is I don't want to be in the middle of like 10 books when we're at the end of the year so I'm just trying to finish off books I'm already in the middle of but this one is a fake dating trope I read holiday romance last year and really really loved it so I have high hopes for this one but I will say right now those high hope expectations aren't exactly being met so I will keep you updated as we go along with this one but I am crossing my fingers. I give it as high of a rating as Holiday Romance because right now I'm feeling a little bit wishy-washy with it. The next prompt is probably my favorite and that is to read a wintry type of mystery or thriller. And for this one, I chose The Family Game by Katherine Steadman. I originally was going to use this one as the mystery, but actually everyone was talking about this on my sprints and said it takes place during Christmas time. My library also had the audio book available so I was like okay this is like a sign to finally pick this one up because I had no clue it took place around Christmas so I'm very excited to dive into a psychological thriller it's been a really long time since I've read a decent mystery thriller I'm crossing my fingers this one is also as good as everyone says it is so that is the plan right now but honestly we'll just see where my mood takes us I feel like at the end of the year a lot of us are burned out I know I'm burned out I'm hoping to make it through at least all of these I feel like all of these have the potential to be five stars but we'll just see what happens. Well I think that is it for now. We are just going to spend the rest of the afternoon and tonight reading. We have reading sprints tonight where we're going to be doing some games and just having some fun together. I think I'm going to actually start with Winter House. I did start listening to this earlier today while I was doing some house chores and I'm really loving it. Middle grade doesn't take long to get through so if I can focus on knocking one book out today I think this would be the one that I'm going to choose. Other than that Kendall I think is going to come 
come over tomorrow and then Sunday is just gonna be like a chill day we're probably gonna wrap some gifts and spend just like a cozy day in without further rambling let's just go ahead and get this party started hello friends it is now day two of the holly jolly readathon and today is gonna be a super fun day yesterday I obviously didn't do a whole lot of b-roll or anything I did get a whole book read like I'd planned to which is good but I was super into reading my book I just kind of forgot to do some b-roll stuff so I just read all day I read on sprints and it was so much fun I started and completed this whole book and I'm so glad I did this was the coziest most atmospheric middle grade book or just wintry book in general I feel like I've ever read honestly I think green glass house does it a little bit better as far as like the wintry atmospheric kind of cozy vibes but this still had lots of cozy things like skiing and log cabins but I am gonna rate this four stars I think because it took a completely different turn that I was not expecting I mean I wasn't expecting this to necessarily be like a Christmassy book in general but it definitely took a dark turn that I was not predicting that's not necessarily a bad thing but I don't think I was necessarily in the mood for the theme or direction it took so I'm just gonna leave it at that without spoiling anything too much but I will say the audio was fantastic I was able to read it on three times speed and usually that doesn't happen I loved our main character Elizabeth she was so strong and she was so curious and while she was sad about her parents passing away she was still able to handle it well and I don't know there was a lot of good themes in this book that I feel like were a little bit more mature than other middle grade that I've read so I really enjoyed that aspect of it I also super enjoyed the full illustrations so like I said if you're gonna pick this up I highly recommend picking up the physical book or at least kind of like reading along with the physical book if you can almost every chapter had an illustration and I thought that was a very nice touch especially because I love the art style it's very geometric and I am very excited to pick up the next one the next one does take place I believe around Christmas time as well I could kind of tell where this left off where the next story is gonna take us so I am excited to continue on I'll probably read the next one next year overall this was a very pleasant surprise I had heard good things definitely took a direction I didn't think it was gonna take but again I can't complain because the writing was done so well so today I am going to be focusing on finishing snowed in I'm not gonna give any thoughts so far because I think I did say I wasn't super enjoying it yet I haven't read any more since and I'm just holding out hope for this one but if I can finish this one I am going to start this one later tonight I'm hoping to stay up maybe a little bit later and get some reading done but besides that today might be a little less on the reading front because Kendall's gonna come over in a little bit and we are going to create our own gingerbread house together and you guys look at this it's Santa's donut shop I love Target <laughs> they always have like these unique type of kits every single year and I don't think I've seen this one before I think this one is newer but it's adorable it's so cute the little lifesavers are like the donuts and I cannot wait to put this together we are always excited just to hang out and no matter what we're doing we just always enjoy spending time together and we also have our movie night for candy cane lane tonight I also think I'm gonna go ahead and throw some homemade chicken noodle soup in the crock pot because I don't know if you can tell but it is a very dreary day out today it's very dark and I just feel like that's the perfect vibe for some homemade soup and bread I also think we're gonna make some Christmas crack which I don't know what the official name is for it I've never made it personally but I have had it before when other people make it and it is like my all-time favorite I only have two and a half hours left of the audio on this so I'm confident I'll be able to finish my second book today and then hopefully we can read this whole book tomorrow so let's just go ahead and prep the soup and wait for Kendall to get here
Sunday. Kendall and I had the best time ever. We watched Candy Cane Lane with our patrons and the movie was definitely a little bit gimmicky, but it was fun seeing Eddie Murphy in another movie. But honestly, I could only picture him as Donkey from Shrek. So it was really fun. It was cute. Not like an all-time new favorite Christmas movie, but if you're just looking for a good time, I definitely recommend it. I didn't know that it was based off the 12 Days of Christmas song. So you have all the different parts of the song and the characters are trying to like find the different parts to the song like the gold rings and it was cool it was a unique idea overall like I said not my favorite but if you are looking for like a fun Christmas Eve movie or just like a family movie in general you can check that out on Prime. I also did finish Snowden this morning and let me just say I was really 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 trying hard not to DNF this halfway through. I was like I can do it it's a Christmas book it's supposed to be cheesy and fun and romantic but this did not give off the same vibe as holiday romance at all for me there was no swooniness there was no banter there was no anything for you to be rooting for the characters i honestly think it's a me problem definitely don't go off my opinion but i'm honestly thinking the fake dating trope might not be for me because honestly i couldn't think of anything specific i didn't like about this it just didn't hit right it didn't feel super christmasy she was basically a runaway bride and her ex kept coming into the picture nonstop. And I just wanted to punt him or punch him into the next universe because it was so irritating to me. Like usually characters have some baggage or something like that, but to physically see her like ex-fiance keep popping up was really aggravating for me. The characters were just mediocre. Like honestly, I preferred our family members or the side characters in this book versus the two main characters. And we didn't really really get a lot of these Snowden cabin vibes that I was hoping for. Like, I thought that's what this book was about. <sighs> so I'm very disappointed. Needless to say, I kind of want to rate this two stars because I just, it wasn't enjoyable for me. It was mediocre. Maybe I'll rate it a three. But now I understand maybe people's point of view with holiday romance because I loved that one, but maybe they'll like this one better. So maybe if you didn't like holiday romance, you would like this one. I do have one or two other of her books that aren't Christmassy. So I'd be interested to see how that goes. The audio was great. They had Irish accents. That was entertaining. Dual point of view. You had male, female narrators. But other than 
that, this one just didn't have a lot going for it. On the other hand, I will be starting the family game today and I am very excited about it because I didn't know that this took place around Christmas, but I did read a couple of the first chapters and I'm really intrigued. The first chapter we start off where our girl is basically laying there dying and so I don't know how we get to that point and now we're just going back in time leading up to the first chapter. As far as I know, our main character is almost about to marry into this very like rich wealthy family and they just have a lot of crazy secrets so hopefully I will be able to give you more of a synopsis or like in-depth thoughts when I finish this one because probably when I come back I'll have this finished. Typically with thrillers I fly through them like crazy but today as you can tell is another PJ day. I honestly wouldn't mind this pattern as a shirt. I think it's really cute or like as a sweater or something but I just want to be comfortable. It's another day at home. We are going to wrap some gifts because we've got some gifts to wrap and I want to make sure I get those done sooner rather than later so I'm not like rushing later. I also have a Christmas coloring book that I have yet to pull out this year so I thought it would be fun to color some Christmassy things and snack on some more Christmas crack because I am legit addicted to that stuff. If you guys have not made that recipe before please check it out. It's so easy, it's so yummy, and you will get addicted to it. So on this rainy Sunday we are just going to enjoy a cozy afternoon in our pajamas, read a mystery thriller, make some hot tea, watch a movie, wrap some gifts, and just do all the Christmassy things. <laughs> to the end or the wrap up of this vlog in typical Olivia fashion I almost forgot to film an outro to be able to share with you what I thought about the family game I am so excited to tell you that I actually really really liked this I wasn't sure going in how I was gonna feel it's a brand new mystery thriller author for me and I had really high hopes but I was trying not to hope too high because I feel like with going into a new mystery thriller author you don't know if they're gonna take like a paranormal route or a domestic route and I will say there is an overall like scary Christmas theme in here that I was not expecting but I will say two pretty big points of this story was very predictable so I think I'm gonna end up rating it three and a half I don't think it's anything you need to drop everything for to try to fit it in this year but I do think it's a pretty solid Christmas thriller 
there's a couple topics that made me uncomfortable that I just don't typically love in my mystery thrillers but I guess you just can't have every single mystery thriller be perfect so this one was really solid there was a part that actually had me super scared because I was believing everything that the author was telling me and that part was so well done I also listened to the audio and the narration was incredible there's a part where our main character plays a tape and it's really cool it's kind of like podcast style I don't know just like kind of the staticky kind of sound it was super enjoyable and typically I'm not a huge mystery thriller person on audio so for me to listen just to the second half of this I think is a pretty big deal for me so I would definitely highly recommend picking up the audio if you do pick up this one but I'm trying to think of any other thoughts I have I feel like mystery thrillers are just kind of hard to rate and talk about for one I don't want to spoil two I feel like they're very subjective I think I enjoyed the first half way more than the second half but I really liked the way it was unraveled I loved the ending I thought the ending was just so touching and you don't often get that in thrillers I definitely recommend this one around this time of year so I would say reading all of these in a weekend is very successful for me like I said I had already started Snowden so I cheated a little bit we didn't quite get any five stars but the fact that I did this readathon with my patrons with Kendall's patrons we just had the best cozy time leading up till Christmas it was just so much fun to do all the holiday things and just have a cozy weekend at home I feel like that's what my weekends usually are but it just makes it even better when I can do readathons with all my patrons and friends so thank you all for everyone that participated our donut shop is still standing so we must have done something right we will definitely do this again soon so if you're interested in joining either one of our patrons I will leave them in the description below so you don't miss the next readathon we do together but thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you have a very Merry Christmas I love you so much and I will see you in my next video